Flooding along the Great Lakes is still an issue in many parts of West Michigan, and water levels won't be going down anytime soon. Storm teammates Ellen Baca is live in Ludington with a look at current levels and what the future holds for those rising waters. Ellen? This is the big story all over the Great Lakes, not just in Michigan. And because of that, a lot of local experts are coming together to help spread awareness, to let people know what's coming, because the waters have definitely risen quickly, especially on Lake Michigan. So we're here in Ludington right now. It's still an empty house, but we're still a ways before the meeting. Everyone's getting ready to await the public uh, with their questions about how rapidly the water has risen. So I was able to snag some of these guys ahead of time to just kind of ask a few questions before the meeting takes place. And Bob, uh, you have been doing a lot with uh, looking at hydrology and marine impacts. You were telling me that this is not the biggest lake level rise in a short period of time that we've seen in history, correct? Yeah, we've had multiple rises through the, the period of record, which dates back about 100 years, um, where we've, we've actually risen quicker. Um, but this has been a quick rise since two, 2013. Yes, and a lot of people haven't seen water levels like this since the 80s. Some people moving here for the first time, they're on the lake shore and the water is so high. What are some of the impacts that people are seeing? Some of the impacts are, you know, we're losing some of the pier, so the lower parts of the pier are going underwater. Um, and then the shoreline, we're getting a lot of bluff and dune erosion right now, so homes may be threatened as we go forward. And do you think that's what a lot of the questions here tonight are going to be surrounded on? It could be. I, I think people are just curious as to why the, the water is this high, and we're going to get into that as to how we got here. Um, and then it, weather service-wise, we'll talk about some of the products that we issue, some of the warnings that go out ahead. Because safety is a huge issue with this. We were talking earlier about how uh, out at Ludington right now we stop by the water and people are walking on the pier and it almost looks like they're walking on the water because the pier blends in. And Lake Michigan and Huron are about uh, 30 inches above the long-term monthly mean and waters have risen about six inches in the, the last month alone. We're looking at the projections now. What's going to happen to the lake in the short term and a little bit farther out seasonally? And in the latest forecast, it looked like there were going to be there's going to be about a two inch water level rise uh, about a month from last week around that time frame, uh, projecting about a month out. And you guys are going to be talking about uh, farther than that, out to fall. Do you think this is an issue that people are going to be talking about or having to worry about for the season to come? I, I do. Uh, the water levels will take some time to come down. They're not going to come down just this summer or this fall. So one of the current concerns as we head into the fall is when we put a storm, uh, you know, a fall storm on top of the water levels, then, you know, the, the lake is up even higher then and you put waves on top of that, there, there will be issues. Thank you so much for your time. I know that you have a lot to prepare with, and I know all the experts here are kind of getting together to get everything together for the public. Uh, we'll be talking with all of them and getting them the latest, getting the latest information from them and then passing it along to you so that we can continue that message of awareness and safety. For now, live in Ludington, Ellen Baca, 24-Hour News 8.